I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, there are some times when things aren't going to go right and you have to deal with it. You can experience enough pain in life that he can clobber you to the ground and you believe you can't do it. You believe that this is it for you. No, it's not. Don't you quit. Don't you quit. You do make a difference. You do make a difference. As weak as you are, as tired as you are, as many mistakes as you made, you do make a difference. There is something they would lose if you were not there. There was something that they would miss if you were not there. You do make a difference. You don't have to force yourself or motivate yourself to think negatively, to be depressed, to hate somebody, to want revenge, to want to get back at somebody, to beat yourself up over the head, to feel loaded with guilt. You don't have to make any effort to do that. Your mind is on automatic. It will do that by itself. But if you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, if you want to begin to really enjoy a happy, successful, healthy life, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. You want it, and you're going to go all out to have it. You need to make it a habit to start every fucking day validating yourself because life is a marathon and this might be a challenging leg where you're like i'm just going to throw in the towel i'm not going to do that thing hell no you've got to focus on you and as you convince you as you sell yourself every day every day you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing telling yourself every day here i go again and i got what it takes this is my day and nothing out here is going to stop me my back is up against this motherfucker every day, and I gotta go that way. And I don't give a fuck who is in front of me. They're not gonna stop me. I want what all other men want. But when the opposition hits, when the challenge hits, when the pain creeps in, when the uncertainty creeps in, when the cuts, when the scars, when the bruises come, I just want it a little bit more than they want it. If you dare to be great, if you dare to do something that you've never done before, if you dare to go to limits that you've never went to before, they will remember your legacy forever. If you are still alive, there's still room for improvement. There's still room for growth. There's still room to grow and be better. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy. If it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. We turn tragedy into triumph. That's what lions do. Lions don't cry. Lions don't give up. Lions don't quit. Lions hunt. That's what we do for a living. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time. You go by the gazelle. You hunt until you get a gazelle, and you don't stop until you get one. It takes guts. You got to dig down deep to cut it out. Keep on going again and again and again. You've got to be willing to face rejection and no again and again and again. Defeat again and again and again. And every time life knocks you down, you jump up and say, it's not over until I win. The first level to success in life, listen to me, the very first level is you seeing it. Like it's clear to you. You know exactly what you want. You know exactly when you want it. You know exactly what it tastes like. You know what it look like. You know what it smells like. Before you really blow up, blow up, and you get success, you literally have it in the palm of your hand without having it. You gotta know what it looks like, tastes like, feel like. Because you don't, you're gonna compromise. I don't alter my mission at hand. No one fucks with me because I don't allow them to. It's gotta be that way, it's gotta be unconditionally focused. What that means is that if you are in and you believe in yourself, no one can change that. In order to have unbelievable choice and options in your life, in your pursuit of your dream, you must eliminate them. You must shrink your focus down to one thing, one business, one focus at one time, and master it and get great at it for an extended period of time. Don't stop. Narrow your focus to one idea, one, and make it work. Make it your priority and stick with it no matter what. The irony of life is that the more you shrink your options in pursuit of your dream, the more it'll open them up in your life later. What are the things that are stealing your focus? Who are the people that are stealing your focus? And begin to eliminate these distractions. 
Get laser focused and obsessed on what you want. Be starving and hungry to get it. Be desperate to get it. The combination of desperation and hunger with laser focus over an extended period of time is the formula to be great at something. Make a damn schedule and stick to it so that you have the day you want. That's the trick. It's like, okay, I've got tomorrow. If I was going to set it up so it was the best possible day I could have, what would it look like? Well, then you schedule that. So if you want more free time, you need more discipline time. More scheduled time towards the things that matter, the more vacation time for you and your family. That's how you get ahead. What's your distraction? Just be honest. Are you distracted by ESPN? Are you distracted by movies, Netflix, video games, gossip? Are you distracted with things that don't matter in your life? Ask yourself truthfully, your big goals and dreams. Can you get laser obsessively focused almost to its exclusivity for an extended period of time? I'm talking about a year, two years, three years, four years, five years, even a decade towards something you want so badly you want it like oxygen. It's like you want it like you want to live. Are you extendedly laser focused on it or do you get distracted easily? Our obsessions become our possessions, but we won't possess them if we're not truly obsessed. Turn your damn TV off. Turn your phone off a lot too. Does it really matter what's going on with the Kardashians right now? Don't be so obsessed with them. Be obsessed with your own reality TV program called your own life. This suffering, this sacrifice you're making is an indicator of progress. It's an indicator of obsession. Suffering and sacrifice and hard work is an indication of progress towards our dreams. The price you will pay for not making your dream come true is far greater than the one that you will pay to make it come true. You'll pay that one the rest of your life. And so ask yourself what you're willing to risk. What's the price you're willing to pay? Stop negotiating the price. It's a freeing experience to totally commit. When you totally commit to a business, to your fitness, it's a freeing, powerful, it's almost like removing kryptonite from your life when you totally commit. Can you do that? The people around you always say, it's costing too much. It's costing too much. You gotta start going, no, it's worth it. Everybody wants to prize, but nobody loves the process. Everybody wants to be a champion, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to be a champion. Everybody wants to hold up the trophy and say, man, I did it, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to do it. I love the process. I love the thought of working for what I want. And I firmly believe you're never supposed to wish for it more than you're willing to work for it. But a lot of people, they wish, and they're not willing to work. A real man in the dark, when nobody's watching, he putting in work. Because he loves the process. Because real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the prize. And some of y'all just want to score. You don't like the process. Championships aren't won in the theater or the arena. They're won in the thousands of hours in the training room, in the labs, in the 5 a.m. runs, and it's rainy when everyone else is sleeping. That's when it's won. I'm here today, I'm an ordinary person, but I focused on my craft. I had burning desire to be excellent. I love what I do. It's my oxygen, it's my DNA. Four in the morning I get up and I'm working on my craft because I love it. It's the hidden work. I look at it as like a rock, and that rock is you. And every day you fight not wanting to get up, and you do anyway. You chip another piece off that fucking rock. And every day you go to train, you train harder and harder and harder and harder, and you get up early, and all these things you do to start forming yourself. You're chipping another piece of that rock off. Before you know it, that rock, it becomes the masterpiece in which you can create it. The heart of a champion is a light switch that's always on. It doesn't go on and off when someone's watching. It's constant. It's how you look at something. If your name's attached to it, then you do it right. The best of your ability every single time. Do the job right or don't do it at all. That's the same person who has his hand raised on the podium one day. Same mother It's what I did in the dark that blew me up. It is in practicing, it is in lifting weights, it is in resting, it is in eating right, it is in making good decisions that you look a certain way. It is how you practice, it is what you do that makes you look like you look. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. The real grind is in the dark when nobody sees you, when nobody knows what you're doing, when you're putting in those extra reps, when you're watching those videos and you're getting inspired, when you change your music. It's the process that makes you sweet. I'm talking about the commitment that says, I am going to stay 
true to what I said I would do long after the mood that I've set it in has left. You gotta begin with the end in mind. So whatever your dream or your goal is, you gotta wake up every day to it. You gotta go to bed with it. You gotta read stuff. The music you listen to, everything you do gotta pour into that dream. I understand it is in a process that you get better. I am not phenomenally skilled, but I'm phenomenally willed. My IQ may never change, but my will changes every year. I get stronger and stronger and more determined. Why? Because it's in my DNA. When you dedicate your life, you don't care anything about the odds. When the dream is big enough, the odds don't matter. Giving your all, it can be confusing to mediocre people. When they talk shit, you keep grinding. Work hard in silence and let your success speak for you. You keep talking smack and I'll keep working. You keep focusing on everything and everyone else and I'll keep working. Instead of killing them with kindness, torture them with f***ing success. Build the kind of life that says I told you so without having to say a f***ing word. While most people stop when they're tired, I stop when I'm done. The only thing limiting your horizons is you. You might be smarter, your family might come from privilege, your daddy might own a company, but you will not outwork me. This top spot is number one. That's mine. Because not one of you can outwill me. You may have been born with more genetic prowess than I have, but you cannot outdetermine me. You can't outwill me. You can't outwant me. You can't outwork me. You can't outdesire me. The bigger your dream is, the harder to grind. Some of you in this room, you might have small beginnings. You might not have a lot of money. You might not have a lot of resources, but there's no excuse. And I need you to understand that the bigger your dream is, the earlier you're gonna have to get up. The longer you're gonna have to stay up. The more effort you're gonna have to put in. You know how hard I work to get here? I put in too many hours. I sweat too much blood, too much tears. I worked hard to get here. Didn't nobody give me this. I didn't grow up with wealth. Didn't nobody pay me. I worked for this. Sweat, blood, tears. I earn every dime I get. I worked for this. You will not outwork me because your height has nothing to do with my work ethic. Your face has nothing to do with my work ethic. Your two-pair background has nothing to do with my work ethic. You will not outwork me. Every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature. Now! Because I'm pissed off for greatness. Because if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you okay with being mediocre. There ain't no man in here okay with being just basic. And I dare you to exhaust yourself. I dare you to leave every single thing on the field one season. Everything. Walk off exhausted. Wins and losses come a dime a dozen. But effort, nobody can judge effort. Because effort is between you and you. Effort ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. I want you to know when you dream your dream that there are other people who are dreaming the exact same dream. When you said to yourself, this is what I want to accomplish, you're not the only person that wants to accomplish it. And now I ask you this question, what do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? What do you do when you're not the only one that wants to make a million dollars in your company? You're not the only one that wants to be a CEO. What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. You got to outgrind them. You got to get up earlier. You got to stay up later. You got to execute and you got to go from 70 to 120. If you're going to make it, You've got to be willing to be the outlier, the weird one. Forget about fitting in. Forget about socializing with everyone. You need to stand out. When people don't understand you, you're doing it right. It's time to stay focused, man. It is time. It is time to go from mediocre to meteoric. It's time to decide f clubs, f partying, f trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it.
Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying? Because I'm trying to get it. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your sh molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you're going to fly. When you are misunderstood to the point where people think you're psycho and you're nuts and you're this and that, why are you in the fucking gym at one o'clock in the fucking morning? What's wrong? When people don't understand you anymore, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. To be the best at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of fucking energy and strength that you have to pull it off. And it takes being fucking obsessed to where people think you're crazy. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. F all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. It's not about today. It's about the future. Do the work now and all of the shit that you could ever want to do for your family, your kids, your loved ones, it's all going to be on a whole other stratosphere. While they was golfing, I was studying. While they was shooting hoops, I was studying. While they was playing games and sitting up and eating and joking in the restaurant, I was studying. While they go party, you grind. While they go spend their money, you go make it. While they criticize and make fun of you, you work endlessly to shut them up with your results. Don't kill them with kindness. Torture them with success. The best revenge is massive success. All men are created equal. Some work harder. Some of us just cry. Some of us don't make excuses. Many of you have lost your competitive edge. Get your competitive edge back. Act like you playing basketball. Act like you playing football. Go on that dog on classroom. Compete. You are not giving 120. You giving 70. You giving 60. You giving 50. And you won't with these people who've given sweat, who's given blood, who's given tears. You won't what they paid for, and it ain't free. You might be bigger than me, you might be faster than me, you might be stronger than me, but you will not outwork me. You will not outwork me because your height has nothing to do with my work ethic. Your two-parent background has nothing to do with my work ethic. You will not outwork me. On your jet, you will not outwork me. In your Bentley, you will not outwork me. You will not outwork me. You can't get out of something, something that you're not willing to put into it. You have to put your everything, your everything, your mind, your energy, your effort, your discipline. Nothing is going to jump out the fire. If you don't throw something in there, it's not going to happen. I don't care what it costs. I will do whatever it takes to win. I'm going to make myself good enough. I'm driven. I'm obsessed. I want to prove people wrong. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail, and I will succeed. You keep gossiping, and I'll keep working. You keep talking smack, and I'll keep working. And when you finally look around at where you are and where I'm at, you realize that you have nothing left to talk smack about. And you lose, and I will win. What gets you out of bed? What gets you off the couch? What gets you in the gym? It's not your alarm. It's not your parents. It's not your friends. It's you. The only one that can make it happen for you is you. It's really hard to be led by your butt. But I'm not qualified. But I'm not good enough. But I'm not smart enough. But I didn't go to the right school. But I don't have enough money. But, 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 but if you're ever going to step into your future, if you're ever going to step into your destiny, you're going to have to get over your butt. And that's what a pity party is, is when you have an undisciplined mind and you meditate on the wrong thing over and over and over again. If you're going to throw a pity party, I give you three days and that's it. And after three days, you cut off your record player, your iPod, your MP3, and you come up with the plan. Do I just sit there and settle? No, I don't. I say enough's enough, man, and I'm gonna make a change, and I'm gonna keep going until I get it. You chase something that you believe you deserve until you get it, and it doesn't matter what happens to you, it doesn't matter how many times you get fired, it doesn't matter how many people don't believe in you, you just go until you get it. That's the point. Are you tired yet? Some of you need to get tired. 
You need to be tired of what's going on in your life. Get tired of your habits. Get tired of the actions that you're putting in there every day. You gotta change, man, or nothing changes. I woke up one day and stopped making excuses. I woke up one day and stopped playing the blame game. I woke up one day and looked at the man in the mirror and was like, yo, bro, what are you doing? Wake up, it's showtime, let's go! Get up, go to class, get up, do your homework. You wake up earlier than people, you stay later than people, you stay humble, you work harder than anyone when no one's there. I guarantee someone that feels bad about themselves soon will label you as he's built different. He's built different should be your label because people feel bad about themselves. You're letting exactly what you wanted because every day you've had choices to make. You're responsible and credible for every single choice. You've made the choices. And what I need you to do for me is why are you here and then take ownership of why you're here so you control you. This world ain't gonna give you what you deserve. This world gonna give you what you work for. I put that work in every single day. And when you wake up every single day and you put that work in, and yes, for some of us, it might be harder than others. Man, whatever, we do what it is we gotta do. Especially when we're desperate. Winning's not loyal to you, it doesn't care about you. Winning doesn't care how sore you are. Winning doesn't care how much sleep you get. Winning doesn't care how hard you work at times. Winning requires all of you and then more, and it promises you nothing. It's a mastermind of creating fear and doubt in your mind. It causes setback after setback. So the question is about winning. Are you willing to sprint when the distance is unknown? And why chase this thing called winning? Because the only thing that's guaranteed in life if you don't chase it is losing. Now is the time to grind. Now is the time to show the world that I was placed here for a purpose. Work for it. Fight for it. It begins today. It continues tomorrow. And it never dies. So many people out there fail not because they don't have the ability it's because they don't have the heart to go through adversity the world ain't all sunshine and rainbows it's a very mean and nasty place and i don't care how tough you are it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it you'll go through some failures when you're in that darkness you want to sit there and wait for the light to come but you can't wait the only way out is to step forward, to face your fears, to become your own the thing. Get control of your ego. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Take ownership of your mistakes, take ownership of your shortfalls, take ownership of your problems, and then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Take ownership of your mission. Take ownership of your job, of your team, of your future, and take ownership of your life. And lead to victory. It's possible you can live your dream. It's necessary that you have a plan of action, that you're resilient, that you stick to, and you work with the system, that you have the vision and never give up, that you become creative and relentless and keep on coming back again and again and again, and that it's you that you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen, and that it's hard, easy is not an option. And when life knocks you down, jump back up and say, it's not over until I win. Man, stop bullsh. If you really got a problem with your life, you'll change it. You're not tired of being broke. You're not tired of being stuck. You're not tired because if you was tired, you would actually do some shit about it. I'm tired of everybody running around complaining as if you're on the receiving end of whatever this world wants to dump on you and you don't have a choice. It's time to grow up, man. Excuses sound best to the person that's making them up. Anybody who is determined to do something, who wants something to be different, it will eventually be different. Everything around you is going to change as soon as you change the things around you. Change your mind and everything about your bank account, your surroundings, your environment will all change. And I know that can be hard. That's why people lose the war. That's why people never achieve their strategic goals. They lose the little battles, the death of a thousand cuts. One missed workout at a time, and then another, and then another, and it all adds up. Why? Because we don't think about the big picture. We don't see the decay. We are like the frog boiling in the pot. As the temperature slowly increases, 
one degree at a time, one degree closer to death, one degree closer to failure. I want to tell you what people don't want to tell you. Why you shot is because you're lazy. You don't mind getting bad grades in school. It doesn't bother you enough to be mediocre, to be average, to sit around and watch people do great things. You don't mind it. You don't care enough about yourself. When that mind gets relaxed, man, you are f***ed. It's supposed to be hard, man. It's supposed to be grimy. It's supposed to be gritty. It's supposed to be horrible. It's supposed to be really ugly. I'm supposed to be battered. I'm supposed to be bruised. I'm supposed to be beaten. Your mind has to touch hardship. It's how you start to create the calloused mind. This is how I'm going to grow. For every level, there's another devil. It is the devil's job to create challenges, obstacle courses and issues and conflicts, insecurities, fear, sending people to talk you out of your mission because he wants to put you to a test. But I can tell you now, I piss the devil off every day because I just don't stop. This fucking guy, every time he does it, doesn't matter if he gets sick, it doesn't matter what happens to his money or his finances, he gets out of his bed and he's on a mission to get it done. Unless you get out every single motherfucking day and put in the work inch by inch by motherfucking inch, you will never get there. Everybody want to win, but everybody don't want to work. Everybody want the reward, but everybody don't have to want to work. We all got to work. All I'm saying is don't quit. I didn't say don't rest. I didn't say don't recover. I said don't quit. Mentally, you ain't got to take off. Mentally, you can stay connected. You see people who do big things and you automatically say, that guy's so lucky. She's so lucky. You don't know that. You're assuming that. Going to work every day for 20 years and grinding your ass off and then becoming a multimillionaire, that's not luck. That's action and reaction. Quit using the word luck. Quit believing in luck and start believing in work. Start believing in results that come from your actions. Isn't it about time you become that person you knew you always could be? How do you do that? You break the fucking mold, guys. You get the fuck out of bed when it's cold, when it's early, and go for a fucking run. Commit to one day and see how you feel. Eventually you'll feel like, wow, man, that was fucking alive. You can't talk it all the time. You gotta walk it. Commit to one day. Try it. See how it feels. Getting up that fucking early when everyone else is asleep or it's that cold. When everybody else says, no, this is not comfortable. You shouldn't do this. You say, yes, motherfucker. I'm going to introduce myself to it. So I'll hear people say, if you believe it, then you can achieve it. And the problem with that is they're leaving out the most important part of the equation. And that part is work, action, actually doing something. That's what you have to do to achieve anything. Yeah, you got to believe it, but you better get the work done. And most people will not be successful. They will not reach whatever they wrote because when there's not anything emotionally attached to it, they're going to quit and give up. Most people were closer than they ever thought they were to finishing that big thing, but they never finished it because they didn't feel like finishing it. Or they were doing it and it was pain. And most people quit in the pain because the pain hurts so bad that they don't know if they want to keep going to get to go. Because you're going to wake up most days and not feel like it. You're going to wake up most days and not be pumped up. You're going to wake up most days and not feel like doing it. But when you can get to a point that you do it anyway, then there's no way you won't reach any of your goals. There's things that you know you're supposed to do as a human being. Things that you know are gonna improve your life. Do those things. There's things that you know are gonna make you a worse person and make your life worse. Don't do those things. Get up early, do some kind of workout, eat good foods, clean your room, make a list of things that you're supposed to do in your life, and then wake up in the morning and do those things. And no, it is not easy. But you're not gonna get it from anyone else but you. You think things are gonna just go your way? Well, they're not gonna just go your way. You gotta make them go your way. You think things are gonna just happen for you? Well, they're not just gonna happen for you. You gotta make them happen. Everyone seems to think that this world, this government, somebody owes them something. Nobody owes you shit. If you want something, go out there and get it. Go out there and fucking take it. That's all there is to it. You need to stop this whining is crying all the damn time and get up and do something about it. And the biggest thing I see getting in the way is your fucking feelings. F your feelings. Where there's a will, there's a way. When you've got air in your lungs, then you have no excuse. It's just a matter of perspective. 
You're either going to be a fucking sheep or you're going to be a lion. You're going to be an attacker and a go-getter. But if you want to sit there and cry, and moan and whine all the fucking time, what well, you can't, 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 then you sit your ass on that bench with the losers and you stay there. But don't expect me to turn around and pat you on the back and say, hey, good job for being a fucking quitter. Get up and do something about it. People who win can do sh and people who lose talk sh You can win if you choose to learn the things that you need to do and then can do them. That's reality. That's the sh nobody wants to admit because admitting so means that you have to take responsibility for where you are currently. And you have to say, I am where I am currently because I didn't do X, Y, and Z. And guess what? That can hurts a little bit. But once you accept that truth, you are able to then move forward with the actions required to get you to where you want to go. Discipline your body. Free your mind. Get up early and go. Get after it and you will become the person you want to be. And you become that person through one small decision at a time. Life is going to give everybody... Because there's something greater on the other side of it. Life gon' whip your butt. Life is gonna bully you. Stop whining. Stop crying. Nobody cares. Be demanding. Let it hit you, but don't let it punk you. All I'm saying is don't quit. I didn't say don't rest. I didn't say don't recover. I said don't quit. Mentally, you ain't got to take off. Mentally, you can stay connected. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. I can. I will. I must be demanding. You must have patience and engage in consistent action. Even if no one else believes that you can do it, even if the odds are stacked against you, even if your chances of survival are slim to none, say to yourself, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. Go get your doggone stuff and don't let nobody tell you no. You go get your stuff and you go get all your stuff because God gave you that stuff and they don't have a right to take it from you. In spite of what's going on right now, in spite of the hardships that we've experienced, it's worth my going at it with everything in me. It's worth giving it every fiber of my being to bring it into reality, to express who I am. I got to sing the song I'm supposed to sing. I got to do the work I'm supposed to do. It's possible you can have it, in spite of where you are right now. That's not important. And it's necessary that you go at it with everything in you. You don't take it lightly. You go at it and you take responsibility for making it happen. And you own up to the fact it's going to be hard. So what? I'll do it hard. Sometimes you might be defeated, but to you, it's worth it. You got the little voices in your head. And you know what they're saying? They're saying it's okay. You've done enough. Take a little rest. That's fine. You can take the day off. You don't need to go hard. That's what those little voices are saying. But you got another voice in your head that's asking you a question. It's asking you, what could you be? What could you be? What could you be if you worked as hard as you could? What could you be if you imposed real discipline in your life? What could you be? I say you crank up the volume on that voice. Crank up the volume on that question. Max it out. So easy to put things off. So easy to say, you're gonna do it tomorrow. Well, I want you to reprogram your brain and tell yourself that tomorrow is not a viable option. Tomorrow doesn't work. You do it today, you get it done today. That's what you do. Too tired too hungry, too sore, too hot, too cold, too whatever. Stop rationalizing, stop making excuses, stop telling yourself little watered down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth. Are you making yourself better? Are you making yourself worse? Are you moving forward or are you moving back? Are you making progress or are you stagnating? Make the decision, yes or no. Are you going to work out today, yes or no? Are you going to win, yes or no? Don't allow for any gray area in there. Get rid of the debate. 
and you know the right decision to make. So go and make it. Hard work works. And you know what's great about our culture, y'all? The world's lazy. It's a good thing for you and me. Everybody will talk about it. Everybody will post about it. But nobody wants to roll up their sleeves and just go get it. And so what that means for me, I don't have to be the most qualified. I don't have to be the most talented. All I got to begin to do is to apply myself. And by default, I'm going to separate myself from the crowd. If you set out and you say you're going to do something, do yourself a favor and don't lie to yourself. Because that is the worst thing that an individual can ever do. You think you lying to your peers. You think you lying to your teacher. You think you lying to your coach. At the end of the day, when you look in the mirror, you lying to you. Because that's your life. You make your bed, you gotta lay in it. You aren't getting any closer to your five-year plan or your three-year plan or your seven-year plan or any plan that you've got unless you get up and start getting after it today. Everybody has a... I don't want to go through this process, but nevertheless... Any of you can honestly look yourself in the mirror and say, I am doing my best. Because if you can, Hard work, determination, and grit. You will not outwork me. I will get up earlier than you. I will go to sleep later than you. I will put in more hours than you. I will read more than you. I will grow. I will do whatever it takes. I do things to separate myself from everybody. The passion that I have when I speak. The grind that I have when I do what I do. What are you going to do to separate yourself? If you ain't got more heart than me, if you ain't been working harder than me, if you ain't sacrificed more than me, I'm going to destroy you. And I'm not retreating. I'm not running. I don't care what they say on paper. I don't care how many games you won. We live by this and we die by this. We don't retreat. You're not giving 120. You're giving 70. You're giving 60. And you won't with these people who's giving sweats, who's giving blood, who's giving tears. You won't what they paid for and it ain't free. It has everything to do with what time you wake up. It has everything to do with how you eat. It has everything to do with how you work out, how you prepare. It has every single thing to do with how you think. And when you want it as bad as you want to breathe, says, I'm willing to make any sacrifice. I'm willing to go through any pain. I'm willing to go through any suffering. I'm willing to go through whatever it takes. So when I get in there and it's me and him one on one, then I guarantee you at the end of it, I won't be the one that surrenders. And if you're going to be the best, the cream of the crop, if you're going to be the apex, you got to be it. It has to consume you. You got to learn how not to give up or how not to give in. And you got to understand that greatness is within you. And you got to pull it out. You got to climb every mountain. You got to cry if you got to. But whatever you do, you cannot give up. You cannot give in. Nobody ever said it would be easy. But I know greatness is within you and you got what it takes. Think about how many years, months, hours, seconds you have wasted. We sleep one third of our fucking lives and we think we can take fucking days off. We think we have the right to sit back and give ourselves fucking options on which way we're going to go in life. Am I going to run today? Am I going to work out today? Well, it's Christmas. It's New Year's. Do you think time gives a fuck that it's Christmas, that it's New Year's? You give yourself too many fucking options. Time is running out. You keep on sitting around wondering what the fuck you want to do. You're just gonna run out of time. Stop falling the fucking crowd. They may take time off, but you can't afford to. Short-term thinking says the donut tastes good, eat it. Short-term thinking says one workout doesn't matter. I can skip it. Short-term thinking encourages you to make short-term emotional decisions that hurt you in the long run and they definitely don't move you toward your overall strategic goals the more short-term decisions you make decisions that are based on that immediate gratification decisions based on quick emotional satisfaction the further from the path you will stray don't do that Think strategic, think long-term. You need tactical wins. You need to win battles in order to win the war. You need to get out of bed, you need to run, you need to work out, you need to read and study and practice, and you need to do things that you don't necessarily want to do. If you do the work consistently, if you invest in yourself consistently, one plus one is always gonna equal two. 
two plus two is going to equal four. In 10 years of motherfucking work, when everybody else is partying, making excuses, doing the cool thing on the weekend, it's going to pay off. What's your standard? I don't care what it is, but what is your standard? I got some standards. I've been waking up at three o'clock in the morning since I was 19 years old. That's a non-negotiable. Every morning at three, I'm up. That's my standard. I'm telling you, set a standard. You can't be no champion if you don't have a standard. The men who set a standard are always the ones who are champions. As a champion, we ain't trying to cut corners. We ain't trying to see how much we can do and still be successful. I got a standard. I want to be the best. Finish. Effort is not good enough. Ain't nobody paying you for efforts. You don't get paid for effort. You don't get paid for trying. Execute. Set the standard, then raise the standard, then uphold the standard every single day. You going up against other champions? You think you're going to get 50%? You think you're going to get 70%? You think you're going to get 80%? You're good. You're real good at what you do. But some of you don't finish. The real beast. The real beast is when they legs give out. The real beast when they tire. The real beast find a way to pull something out when nobody else ain't got nothing. Success is never on discount. Success is never on sale. You never see Rolls Royce say, please, come buy us. Why? Because a Rolls Royce, when they make it, they make it one at a time. And they take their time and they handcraft it. It never goes on sale. And some of y'all in this room, you want your dream to go on sale. It's never gonna go on sale. But if you wanna be average, they give an average out. They got discounts on goods. But if you wanna be great, you gotta pay blood, sweat, tears, and you gotta pay every single day. There are no shortcuts to greatness. To be great, there are no days off. In every aspect of life. You're gonna fall flat on your face. You're gonna be criticized when you come out into the arena called life. You're gonna feel awkward and stupid and dumb sometimes. But it's okay. It goes with the territory. You got to get messed up sometimes. You got to get dirty. You got to get your feelings hurt. You got to get disappointed. You got to get told no. You going to ask somebody for some money. He going to tell you no. That's just dirt. See, you get tripped out because you got dirt on you. But you need dirt on you to develop. Because dirt ain't just dirt. Dirt is fertilizer. Dirt is nutrients. Dirt gives you the strength for your seed to push through. See, you gotta have dirt on you to push through something. Everything you see that's beautiful starts out as a seed, but that seed got to get dirt on it. See, you get mad when haters come your way. You get mad cause you get a setback. You get mad cause you get thrown off course. You get mad cause you get a detour. That's just dirt. You get mad cause they talking about you. That's dirt. You get mad cause you, you lost your mama. That's dirt. But show me something that has grown into something beautiful that didn't have no dirt on it. You got to have dirt on you to grow into what God got for you. And maybe you've been knocked down in your life and it seems like, hey, the fight is over. It is not over unless you quit. You have to learn to turn and look at every obstacle as an opportunity. You gotta get gritty, man. You gotta develop some dog in you. Life is gonna throw some serious blows, some body blows, and they go hurt. But I want you to feel that pain going through your body. And as pain leaves your body, guess what's gonna take its place? Success. No pain, no gain. Pain has a purpose. Don't go through it, grow through it. Stop running from your pain and embrace your pain. Your pain is going to be a part of your prize. I challenge you to push yourself. When you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, doors start opening, opportunities start happening. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit during the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. Champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank. When they don't have no more, when it's over, when they're tired, when they're frustrated, when they're ready to give up, when they spent their last dime, that's when they get started. It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all your money, when all your energy gone, when you have nothing left, 
that's when it's showtime. When you find a way out of no way, when you find breath that you don't have, when you find energy that did not exist, when you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe, that's when you find a way. I wish I could tell you it's going to get easier. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, the weight is going to get lighter. I wish I could tell you that, but that's not the truth. The truth is you got to find something within. You got to find something within and that's got to push you and that's got to elevate you and that's got to drive you and that's got to move you. And when you find out what your why is, you don't hit snooze no more. When you find your why, you find a way to make it happen. I challenge you to never give up. Never give up. You're going to be here one day, but you'll never get here if you give up, if you give in, if you quit. And finally, guys, you got to want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. You're going to have so many people tell you, you don't have what it takes. How are you, of all people, going to do that? You're being unrealistic. You're not going to make it. Don't believe a word they say. You're going to have to block out the noise of everyone around you and focus on yourself. You go after and you give it all you have. If you lose, at least you try, man. I failed. It's 10 times more of a man than someone said, what if? Because what if never went to the arena? In life, it's not the genetic guy who wins or the guy with the most potential that wins. It's a person with the greatest perseverance that wins. Always willing to get up and go at it again and go at it again. That's the guy who has his hand raised later in life, guys. That's the guy you guys need to be. Every true leader, they're called weird. They're called eccentric. When you do the things of real leadership, you're going to be called strange. Get strong enough in your own skin that when people laugh at you or when they throw stones at you, you keep on going. What are you going to do now? How are you going to control that now? How are you going to flip it upside down and say, Roger that, now I'm going to harness this shit and you'll read about me years from now. Everybody who wronged you in the past, they gonna have to feel you. They gonna have to see you. Don't get even. Don't worry about getting even when you already beat the odds. You wanna make your dream come true, you gotta stay focused. Some people rather get even than get ahead. Stay focused on where you wanna go. I just kept on doing what I was supposed to do. You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas. Never stop, never quit. Never allow anyone to talk you out of the dream, the vision, and ideas that God has sent you. We all get knocked out. I've had my haters. I've had people who've come against me, who try to sabotage me. I'm like the liar. I'm not the gazelle. I don't need something external to motivate me. I find something within. Life gonna whip your butt. Life is gonna bully you. Stop whining. Stop crying. Nobody cares. Be demanding. Let it hit you, but don't let it punk you. Stop letting people affect your day, affect your life. Affect the outcome of what's going to happen to you. Waste no more effort wrestling with other people. Your destiny, your future is not predicated on the decision of someone else. You wasted too much of your life trying to change other people's mind about you. It doesn't matter what they think about you. It matters how you see yourself. The fulfillment of your dreams lies within you. Self, it's not over until I win. Life will yield to you. And I'll go to war for what I want. I will go to war for what I love. So I won't stand down. So if you get in my way, I will either step on you or step over you. This is your territory. This is your turf. This is your field. This is your court. This is your home. Protect what's yours. No one said that the path is going to be easy. And it's not. We know life is rough and we know there will be pain and whether that pain is at the hands of an enemy or at the hands of nature or time or disease, there will be pain. That's the way life is. You have been disappointed over and over and over again. And every time you try, nobody notices. And every time you try, you come up short. Sickness is cyclical. It comes around, it goes around. You're well for a little while and then it's the same thing all over again, but this time it's only worse. Because now not only are you back where you started, 
but you have less hope that it is ever going to be different because you've cycled through it one more time just to realize, well, I guess I'm just a cynical person. Well, I guess I'm just a negative person. I guess nobody in my family was meant to go to college. Sickness becomes normal to you. And it starts to be easier for you to just accept the condition than to challenge it. Because to challenge the condition means to risk disappointment. And some of us have tried, got blocked. Tried, got blocked. Tried, got blocked. And now people see you and they assume that you don't care. No, I care. I cared and I cared so much, but they didn't care back. And I tried so hard and I still got looked over. And don't you know it's hard when your expectation has been damaged by disappointment? It's a slow damage. It's a slow tearing of the muscle fibers. It's a slow deterioration of your hope by disappointment. It is not one event that creates it. It's over and over. I tried and I tried and I smiled and I stayed and I disciplined and I showed up and I didn't care. And, and the man has finally gotten to a place where he is tired of trying. You might even feel like there's no hope. But you know what? Doesn't matter. Keep fighting. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But that doesn't happen on its own. You have to choose to get stronger. Keep fighting. Keep going and don't give up because the only real failure is actually giving up. And if you don't give up, you will win. See, life is rough, ladies and gentlemen. It's rough. Things that's going to happen to you in life, ladies and gentlemen, make it okay. I can change how I respond to it. I can become upset, nervous, tense about it, weak about it, or I can say, it's okay. Don't go through life feeling like you're powerless. Victims are people that are powerless. You're not powerless. You are powerful. You direct the power in your life. Whatever your life is right now, it is a duplication of your consciousness. It's a result of how you have decided to use your power. That's all it is. That's not who you are. That's just a perverted use of your power that you aren't satisfied with. And you've got the power to change that. But you don't know what has happened to me. It really doesn't matter what has happened to you. See, the only thing that really matters is what are you going to do about it? That's all that matters. That's all that matters. That no matter what you do to me, how cold and callous you are to me, lack of compassion, lack of sensitivity, how cruel you might be to me, you're not going to change me. There are some things that I went through this year that I didn't like. There are some things that I went through this year that hurt. They hurt like hell. I'm not saying that I would have chosen them if I had had the opportunity. But now that I've been through it, there is something that I learned through, what I went through, that made me who I am. There's a purpose for it. I'm not a hostage. You have to make a decision that every experience is my education and I'm going to discover the opportunity for me to grow and for me to get better. I'm telling you, I've already made up my mind that I know I will fall down. I know that I will stumble, but I already see myself getting back up. Therefore, I'm never down. I'm either up or getting back up. I will learn from this thing. Ask yourself, what remarkably stupid things am I doing on a regular basis to absolutely screw up my life? What would happen if you just stopped wasting the opportunities that are in front of you? Because you're not everything you could be and you know it. And you could be way better. You could be incomparably better across multiple dimensions. Easy choices, hard life. Hard choices, easy life. What we most fear doing, asking, saying, these are very often exactly what we most need to do. There's a lot of things in life that we can control, but we choose not to. Let's say tomorrow, you now set in your mind you get up at six o'clock in the morning. That alarm clock goes off at six o'clock in the morning. Your first instinct is, whatever I said yesterday, I was comfortable. It was a nice day yesterday. I made this plan at eight o'clock at night. Now it's six o'clock in the morning, I'm tired. 
You hit that snooze button, you've now lost the war. Let's say you give it a 645 now, because you snooze a few times. You go in the shower, now your day's all late, so now you feel a little guilty now, you can miss your workout, you're running late for work now, and guess what the war's gonna do? It's gonna f you up. You must win the war in the morning. So then when you go into life that you cannot control, you've already mentally won so many battles early in the fucking morning, so you're going into fucking war having already won something. So you're not going to war defeated. You're going to war knowing, I did my push-up, I did my sips, I read, I meditated, whatever the f you do, you're prepared for what the f life is gonna bring you. You have to be that person who no matter what's going on, still says f it. I am gonna do what I have to do to get to where the f I have to go. I don't think about getting up, I just can get up. And you just do it, you make it a habit. You gotta get over your mind going, I can't do this, it's too hard and all that shit. You gotta push yourself through when you feel exhausted and say, there's a second win in me, I'm gonna find it. But if you find yourself saying, I can't do something, I don't wanna do something, but you know if you made yourself do it, you're gonna be a better human being, then you must do it. Don't hesitate, do it immediately. Some people say, well, that's not a very safe life. That's not a very secure life. If you want security, go to prison. If you want freedom, this is how you live. Don't even use the word commit. Don't even think about the word discipline. Just do the thing every single day, whether you feel like it or not. Your only commitment is to the activity, not to the grand scheme, not to the big picture, not to the implications of what it is that you're doing. It's to do the thing. Habits are the building blocks of our lives. Not the goals or the grand schemes or the vision or the big idea. It's what you can do every single day that matters more than anything. No excuses. Do it. Girlfriend or no girlfriend. Do it. Tired or not tired. Do it. You said you was going to do it out your mouth. You're a man now. And a man is only as good as his word, not his emotions. No, emotions don't win championship. So whatever's going to cause you not to be your best, stop it. This is about you retraining your brain to understand this is a fucking process that we learn of discipline and execution and competition with ourselves. And if you wanna dictate the success that you're going to create, you've got to learn to master the sh that everybody else thinks is irrelevant. I would love to tell you that on the road to success, everything is gonna work out, it's not. It's gonna be a dog fight. On the road to success, I lost five aunts to cancer. It's a dog fight. My wife, three years ago, seven legions fought on her brain. It's a dog fight. It hadn't been easy. It's a dog fight. It hadn't been, the road hadn't been success. Like it's just a paved road and like each he go this way. It's been rough. It's been crooked. It's been hard. But I've made up in my mind that I will get a reward for the pain that I go through. I will not stop in the middle of the process. I will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I will take everything that happens in my life and I will allow the pain to push me to greatness. You will not break me. You will not stop me. You will not defeat me. The only way I lose is if I quit. It's going to be a dog fight. And so if you're ready to quit, then don't get started. If you're ready to quit, don't get started. If you're looking for this easy path, don't get started. If you think they're not going to close the door on you and say no a million times, don't get started. But every time they close the door, I just get excited. Why? Because I am not a no. I'm one yes away. You can't keep telling me no forever. You can't keep denying me forever. This type of energy, this type of passion, you can't stop it. You can contain it for a while, but you cannot stop. This is life, and you can't defeat me. You don't have enough power. You don't have enough energy. You don't have enough strength to stop this. Your pain ain't permanent. It might last for a second. It might last for a minute. It might last for an hour. It might last for a week. It might last for a day. It might last for months. But sooner or later, if you do not surrender, if you do not give up, if you do not give in, it will subside. Listen to me, you can talk like a victim, you can act like a victim, or you can be a victor, and you can say, despite the odds, I will defy the odds. You're gonna work through this. You're gonna get up, you're gonna get dressed, you're gonna get out, and you're gonna do what you've been called to do. You're gonna be what you called to and you're gonna prove to everybody that tried to break you Everybody that's trying to kill your dream, you're going to prove all of them wrong.
What will you do with your pain? Will you let it break you or will you let it redefine you? You've got to continue to work on yourself personally. You've got to decide to be relentless. You've got to decide never to give up. You've got to find some reasons within yourself that will give you the stamina when life catches you on the blind side to get back up again, to keep on calling and coming back again and again and again. You gonna quit or you gonna make it to your goal? You gonna quit or you gonna make it to your silver? You gonna quit or you gonna stand there and do what you gotta do to make your dreams become a reality? You have to be disciplined every single day and train yourself to follow through on all your fundamentals and that's how you're going to be successful. You have to do it when you don't feel like it. You have to do it when you feel discouraged. You have to do it when you don't feel healthy. You have to do it when you're under the weather. Every single day, you have to train yourself to focus and commit to your business and follow through. And it's not just the things that you see coming. But sometimes it's the things that you didn't see coming that hit you out of nowhere, that set you back in such a way that it seems like you can't get over. And you've reached your limit and your bandwidth is full. And you already said, I can't take another thing. And then out of nowhere, here comes something you didn't see coming and you're in it. And in your homes, somewhere in your heart, these words are echoing. Am I going to make it? When you get into a tight spot and everything goes against you until it seems that you cannot hold on for a minute longer, never give up then, for that is just the place and time that the tide will turn. There are times when your energy feels so depleted that you want to give up that it looks just totally impossible. And I can tell you from my own personal experience, don't give up then. That's when you've got to fall forward, when life is kicking dirt in your face. Don't give up then. That's when most people turn back. As long as you're alive, there is hope. You're still alive. You're still here. It's never too late. That it's never too dark. And we can always turn things around. There's going to be bad days, there's going to be dark days, but you got to embrace it because that pain is what makes you stronger. Pain is the high cost of growth. If you want to grow up, you want to be mature, there is no way to do it without pain. You can't grow up on easy street. And the very thing that discourages you is the very thing that develops you. No one's coming to save you. No one's coming to save you. The only person that's going to make a drastic change in your life, whether that's physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, the only person that is going to dig you out of your hole is who? You. You have to do it for you. You've got to become courageous to stand up within yourself, to face it and step forward. We all get a taste of that victim mentality, the why me? You can become the victim of the situation or the victor of the situation. You need to be the master of your emotions, not let them affect you. You are the dictator. You are the captain of your boat, whether you let things affect you in a negative way or a positive way. I don't lose. I only win or learn. In life, there's only winning or learning. All your problems become gifts once you learn from them. And some of you have allowed adversity to make you stop. And I'm telling you right now, don't give up. I'm telling you right now, don't give in. Get through it. Execute, execute, execute. In the midst of adversity, execute. You're going to work through this. You're going to get up. You're going to get dressed. You're going to get out. And you're going to do what you've been called to do. You're going to be what you called to be. And you're going to prove to everybody that tried to break you, everybody that tried to kill your dream, you're going to prove all of them wrong. And if you can work through your pain, I'm guaranteeing you, on the other side is a reward. Pain is not permanent. Pain is temporary.